Hi, you guys. It's Ayo from 97.1 The Eagle, and I've got Amy Lee and Lizzie Hale on the line. Wow, good morning. Hi. Good morning. <laughs> How are you guys? Yeah, good to see you. Good to see good. you. Good. Um, it's nice to see that you guys have struck up this amazing, not only friendship, but apparently chemistry as music artists, too. That's so beautiful. I, the first thought that came into my head when I said I'm going to be interviewing them at the same time is, I wonder if they've even met. I wonder if this is like a first time venture. And then I did my homework and I'm like, wow, look at this, man. You guys have made great music together. And both bands just have a fire that I have to say, we have so much gratitude for the writing that both of you do and the performing that both of you do in your bands, especially over the last 18 months or so. It's come in really handy. And I don't know if you guys literally know this or not, but your music has helped a lot of us. It's been a big help to deal you know so thank you for being there for us as fans yeah. thank you for listening and being there for us it helps us too i think that's why we do what we do um it, kind of uh, it's made way. a lot of difference you know there's a there's a lot of different avenues i can go to get myself distracted during tough times but music wow same that's the, that's the number one go-to okay so you guys are friends and everything now uh <laughs> i wonder if you know this about amy lizzie did uh -oh. you know that she's a badass volleyball player you know what actually i don't think we've ever talked about sports <laughs> where did you read that i am terrible at pretty much all sports you're dope at volleyball i've played with you before oh my god oh okay wait a minute wait a minute where it's not a, it's not like a it's not like a spicy seedy controversy story or anything it's a fun one but where were we take you there jamaica i knew it i knew it <laughs> the only time i've ever played volleyball Ooh. okay as as easy as your friend here i want to give her the nutshell version of you as a badass volleyball player okay oh <laughs> on a radio station trip to jamaica there's a few bands on the trip there's a bunch of winners amy isn't even an official marquee person she's a low-key like under the radar passenger on this trip okay she's there with her friends and uh, all of us guys we're at an all-inclusive resort in jamaica all inclusive okay and it's like day two and we're all in the pool and it's mostly musician guys okay we're in the pool playing water volleyball and there's a whole bunch of people sitting over the cafe to the right and you know we, we don't know who these people are or anything but we're playing and we're short one person so we just call out randomly at the resort. We're like, hey, we need one more over on the other side. And this woman stands up in, in, in a black, it was like a nighty. It was like a, it was like a pool robe, black pool robe. She stands up and she goes, I'll play. And she takes <laughs> off the robe and she's got a turquoise bikini on. She jumps in the pool and just starts slamming and spiking. And she was a great player. She's really, she does I not hope you tell everybody ball. the story just like that. Cause I feel like it wasn't that cool. And if, if I did any, if I ever <laughs> fall over that net, I just tell everybody that I'm great at it. Cause I uh, all of us guys, like we all looked at each other and we wanted to be respectful. We didn't want to <laughs> like freak you out, but we all looked at each other and we went, oh my God. I was probably just the, the least drunk one. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> it's very possible. It's kind of a blur. It was a long time ago. And interesting side note, that trip was also my one year wedding anniversary. Aww. And one night at this resort, we all celebrated my anniversary together. Oh my and God, I completely here. remember this. Yeah, we were out on the sand at night. All of us gathered around. We had one guitar. We yes. were all singing cover songs. I think we covered Weezer and a couple other things. And we had the best time. And it was a, a good time. Memory. That's awesome. Yeah. Thank you for coming along and thank you for surprising us. And now, Lizzie, you know something new about your friend Amy. She I, is a I, badass at volleyball. Absolutely, man. That well, you know, we're gonna have to set up the volleyball net and <laughs> <laughs> we have to we get her into the pool. Over, we're having a volleyball party. Damn it! <laughs> it's got to be water. That's that's when her sick skills really come out. I am. Lizzie, have you ever spent time in in Arkansas? I know you guys have toured through there a million times, but have you ever spent time in in Amy's hometown? Or, or her homeland in Arkansas? Um, I just hung out? Yes. I mean, only really on tour. It's like one of those things where I we try to get lost when we're in, in town and in a different state and all of that. So we always end up finding a little bit of trouble. 
Um, but <laughs> yeah, but like everybody else, we haven't been there in a long time, so looking forward to it. Well, seeing as you guys are friends, I think Amy should invite you to come hang in the Arkansas area sometime. And I was gonna I, say there's uh, not a lot to do there, but exactly. when we're there, the best thing to do is just come over to my parents' house so my dad can make everybody tacos. Like tacos. Oh, wow, wow. Mm-hmm. That sounds good. We love my tacos. <laughs> yeah. We love our tacos in Texas. Arkansas is one of the most beautiful places I've ever been to in my whole life. And I feel bad as a Texan because very much like in the world of sports, Texans sort of give a hard time to the neighboring states. Well, oh, you're not as good as us. Arkansas blew my mind. And I've been back, especially to Hot Springs. I've been back Aww. half a dozen times or so. And it's one of the most beautiful places in the country. So Lizzie and Hailstorm, guys, if you're looking for a place to get away and escape, Amy's homeland is a really, yep. really good choice, too. <laughs> We're just gonna show up at her parents' house, be like, hi, we were told uh we need to be here. <laughs> I can't tell you how much he dreams of that ever happening. Are you serious? Really? He wants that so bad. He some of our favorite memories are when we were on tour and like everybody from Finger Eleven or whoever like came over to the house. Oh, that's awesome. And like he could make his salsa and the whole thing. <laughs> we'll have to plan on it. Yes. Surprise. Tacos sound great, but you guys, the lakes, the rivers, the scenery, the nature. Wow, it is exceptional in Arkansas. And I just wanted to say that. So Lizzie, can you tell that I know a million more things about Amy and Evanescence than I do about Lizzie Hale? Can you As tell? As we expected since we just met. You know, we just, you know, we're we're <laughs> we're, we're breaking you- the ice right now. It's like speed dating, like I like long long. <laughs> Well, how fun. um <laughs> how is Era J taking all of this? I imagine patience and rock and roll don't mix very well in a drummer's heart. So <laughs> how is he holding up? It, I, I imagine he's just done insane levels of practicing. Um, he he is living his best pandemic life right now. Um, it actually the beautiful thing about RJ is that he's so positive that it almost seems like nothing has changed at all in his world. I mean, obviously there has been, but. You know, he finds ways to keep himself occupied and busy. Um, he's also living in uh, Nashville right now. My entire band is out here. So um, we, they actually just, well, my brother just moved to Nashville right before lockdown. So it was kind of like move in. And uh, yeah, you've never been so close yet so far away. So the fact that everything is kind of starting to move now and we're recording a, a record right now and able to see each oh, other. Oh, I know. It's, it's, pretty, it's pretty cool to reunited and it feels so good (laughs) it was uh i I think it was 15 or 16 months ago lizzie that you told media you're writing the best songs you've ever written in your life uh during isolation yeah i mean i i hope so anyway um i I, that's that's the way i kind of feel with every album cycle is that you keep trying to top yourself but it's different um with you know this the way the world has kind of changed and also when you're in that position where there's something specifically with me with touring we you know we're used to being out on the road for about 200 to 250 days a year so when this big part of your life and this big part this extension of your personality this uh this mission statement that you always have in front of you and that is stolen from you you have to put that energy and that outlet into something else and thankfully um yeah just the writing process i've put all of that energy into the songs you know because i have nowhere else to put it (laughs) so um so yeah it's it's really exciting and um i can't wait for everyone to hear new material i can't wait to get out and play um i have a feeling i'm gonna need some pretty dark sunglasses it's gonna get emotional Mm -hmm. it's uh yeah so just it it's uh, i think it's gonna be beautiful on the other side because We are all, not that we ever took any of it for granted, but I think that we're going to just be appreciating so many of the little things a hell of a lot more. Right. Yes. I talked to uh, Taylor Momsen not too long ago, and we were, you know, venting our frustrations about the the absence of the concert experience in our lives and how crucial that is and pumping through our hearts, the kind of people that we are. And Taylor said, when we finally go back out on the road and start playing shows again, it's going to be like a tantric release yep. we gotta <laughs> run too alan just so you know okay we have to wrap up already but i'm happy for you guys that you have so many people that want to speak to you and get the word out about this tour you guys are going to co-headline you're We're so ready we are so ready yeah now. and um this is going to be just before thanksgiving that you guys are going to come to dallas fort worth again and play uh, Lizzie and Hailstorm did a show for us just a few short years ago it was a radio station show they headlined Lizzie shows up in all black leather and a short haircut and the, the big, beautiful Gibson Explorer and just the band seriously crushed it. Thank you, Hailstorm, for that show. It was an amazing show. It's just a few years ago. 
Amy, Evanescence, it's been a little while, and ready. we're ready to see you guys kick Do some this. ass. Woo, we got some lost this time to make up. So much it. fun. Are you guys going to get up on stage together? I would, we, we've been we've been talking about it. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're not going to say yes, yes, but duh, come on. But yeah, <laughs> not yet. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. We're not going to say yes, but duh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hailstorm is working on a new record right now. It's going to be amazing. The Bitter Truth just came out a few months ago, and we love you guys, and we can't wait to see you in our hometown. Please come you. and hang out. Soon. See you soon. Love you guys. Thanks for calling. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.